Well, it's May, and what do you start doing in May? You start uh, planting flowers. And when you plant flowers, what happens? Well, you get dirty. You get dirt all over your clothes and uh, that black soil. That it just looks bad. Well, I've been thinking about this for a while, and uh, so I come up with my own idea. Actually, I've had it for a long time. I made a plastic apron out of a tarp, plastic tarp. Only cost me a buck down at Ollie's. Uh, rope I've already had. You can get the rope at Walmart. Now, you think, well, gee whiz, uh, I don't want to be walking around with an apron like this here, but I'll tell you one, when you try it and your clothes are clean, you're going to say, boy, that was a good idea. Let's get started. Our materials for this project will include a uh, small tarp, plastic tarp. This is 4 by 6 You can pick these up just about anywhere. I got this down at Ollie's for like a dollar. Uh, rope, cloth rope, um, and uh, to connect it all together, rather than using glue, we'll use uh, duct tape. Um, you need some sort of um, device to install grommets. Uh, I picked this up over at Harbor Freight. It's uh, pretty simple to use. Um, scissor, um, assorted tools, uh, a yardstick, and a black magic marker. Our design for our apron is uh, fairly simple. We'll take the tarp and cut a pattern like this here. And the length, you'll have to adjust that to yourself. The width here, um, you want it to cover your chest. Uh, same for this length here. Uh, the length down uh, from here to here, I like it to be able to uh, cover most of my legs. So pretend, uh, for example, if these were my shoes, I'd like for it to come to right about uh, 8 to 12 inches above my shoes. Then we'll install a couple of grommets here and a couple of grommets there and here's where we'll put the rope to tie the apron and here's where we'll put the rope to go around our neck. I've turned the tarp on the back side where it's silver so it's easier to see the markings with the uh, magic marker. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure uh, the width of 18 inches that's going to cover my chest and I'm going to come down uh, 14 inches. So uh, the, the first, the top part will be 18 by 14 inches. And um, you can measure that any which way you like. But the first thing that I think I am going to do is I'm going to put two marks here that are 18 inches across, two points. Then I'm going to get a T-square and I'm going to come down this way. Uh, that will define the um, dimensions of the top part of the apron. But the T-square I'm using is actually a drywall T-square. Uh, if you have a drafting T-square, you can use that too. Or you can figure out your own, your own way to do it. Now I'm going to come down 14 inches on both sides and I'll put a horizontal line there. And I'm going to make my apron 32 inches wide. So 14 from 32 is 18. So therefore, I want to come over 7 inches on each side of the line. 
I mark one side at seven inches from the from the line, and then I draw another line at thirty-two inches. This is the top part right here. This line is the top part of the bottom part of the uh, apron. Now here's where it'll get a little bit tricky and the, the tricky part is just marking these lines because uh, I don't have a table big enough to, to lay a uh, 4 by 6 tarp down. So what I'm going to do is I'll go from that original line I'll go 7 inches because I know that's going to be the width. I'll also do that on the other side. Mark it 7 inches. So, what I'll do then is go from the bottom, or I should say at the end of that one line, let's see if you can get that on the camera, and those two points, and I will continue to mark that straight line all the way to the bottom of the tarp. Now you may have to do that four or five times. But as long as you put your card stick on that line, straight with that line, it'll work. I'll do that to the other side too. Right here, where the two lines intersect, where the top part and the small part meet, I'm going to put a oh, uh, the lid to a can there and scribe an arc. That's just to make it look neat. So then you cut it. I'll do that to the other side too. Okay, let's start cutting the tarp and cut about an inch on the outside of those lines. Now we can start folding over the tarp um, on that original line. And we'll fold it over and tack it down with tuck tape. You can start anywhere, wherever is easier. I recommend uh, getting the full length. Then coming back and putting a piece of tuck tape all the way across. Let's do that all around the straight edges. Then when we'll come back to the, the round part, I'll show you what I'll do. On the round parts, cut a series of um, kerf cuts. Then, after you make those little kerf cuts, pull them back one at a time. and tack it down with a piece of tuck tape and um, keep doing that until you get the entire circle made. Okay, after you get the round part uh, made, 
then you can go back to the straight sides and fold them over and do them next. Like I said, I like to tack it down first with some tape. Then I get a longer piece and cover the whole thing. Now we need to mark where we're going to put the grommets. And this is the top part here. This will be the grommets for uh, the piece of rope that'll go, that goes around your neck. And we'll put them uh, an inch from the side and an inch from the top. This is where the grommets go. And what I like to do first is uh, poke a little hole in there as, uh, as best I can and then uh, attach them. There you go. Let's do the other side. Let's go ahead and get the other two done. Now we'll put the rope in there that goes around our neck and that's trial by error. I mean, you know, that's trial by error. Just figure out a length, tie a couple of knots on the ends and make a big enough knot so that it doesn't go through the, through the grommet. Now we'll cut a couple of lengths for the part that uh, in the back where you tie. And uh, that's always kind of tough because you never know how long to make it. Uh, if you're real big, you need a lot of rope. If you're not, well, you don't need a lot of rope. So again, that's another one of those individual measurements. Well, she's done. I think it's time we give it a test. I have here a large quantity of sawdust and dirt, nothing uh, out of the ordinary, something that you would find in your own workshop. Uh, I shall now give it the, uh, the test. Nothing sticks. You can call this the Teflon apron. Folks, I'd be proud to wear this apron. Well, I hope you like this apron project. I uh, hope you find it uh, useful, and I uh, hope you uh, have an opportunity to make one. Now, I'll tell you what. You can buy one. You can buy one, but you're going to spend a little bit more than what I have in it. And I'll tell you something else. I was on the Internet looking around for a couple years ago for uh, an apron for the shop. An apron for the shop. You know, something that uh, sawdust would uh, roll off of, like this one here. Well, I saw one at some uh, at some store, some woodworking store. It was like eighty dollars, eighty dollars for something. And you're going to get on thirty. I mean, eighty dollars. Heck, I'm going to buy a I'm going to buy a sport coat if I can get one for that much. But let me tell you something. That's nuts. Eighty dollars for something like that. You can make this thing yourself. You can make it yourself. And that's what's important. I'll see you.